Hello and welcome to today's daily science revision task on producing a flashcard on bacteria in yeast cells. So, animal cells and plant cells have features in common such as nucleus, cytoplasm, cell membrane, mitochondria and ribosome. Plant and algal cells also have a cell wall and often have chloroplasts and a permanent vacuole. Bacteria in yeast cells have different structures to animals and plant cells. So, they contain, contain a nucleus if it's a yeast cell which contains its genetic material. They both contain cytoplasm which is where chemical reactions are taking place. They both have cell membranes which controls the movements of substances in and out. Yeast cells, not bacteria cells, have mitochondria, which releases energy by respiration. And they have ribosomes for protein synthesis. Remember that plant cells also have a cell wall that strengthens it. Uh, plant cells have chloroplasts, which carries out photosynthesis and a permanent vacuole. A bacterium is a single-celled organism. A bacteria cell has different structures to an animal and plant cell. It has cytoplasm, a membrane surrounded by a cell wall, but its genetic material is either in the form of a plasmid or is delocalized like DNA. It can also have a flagellum, which is basically a tail, which can help it to move. Yeast is a single-celled organism. Like bacteria cells, yeast have cytoplasm, a membrane surrounded by a cell wall. But unlike bacteria cells, yeast cells have a nucleus. Hopefully, this video should have helped you complete your daily revision task. Please subscribe so you can keep up to date with other videos to help with your daily revision tasks. You can follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter to help you keep up to date.